Hey, talk to y'all about Lynn Hedda. Then said it, mate. Had a little setback the other night. A little setback. This man. Man, get the fuck out the way. What's up, everybody? Yeah, let's also talk about his baseball card. Though. Yeah, his game, his card. It's so it was like a baseball card sold on eBay. We will talk about that too. It's fucking rookie card. Man. Well, he played, uh, Lynn Sanity rolled into Miami the other night. Yeah, it was right after they played New Jersey, right? Yeah, it was back to back game, so it was tough. And he goes up against, well, the best defense in the league. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Had a rough night, eight points. I think he had eight turnovers, three assists. Yeah. One for a fucking. Well, I kind of expected this because he hadn't played nobody with the. Yeah, you know what? Defensive. There's some tape on this motherfucker now, right? People watch tape, see what he likes to do, what he can do. And you can gear your defense toward what he's doing, right? Which, if he is great as everybody says he is, you know, he's going to have to adapt and he's going to have to overcome those. Yeah, things. he's definitely going to have to do that. Man, but uh, but the game was pretty much tied at the half, you know, but they ran away with it in the second half. But uh, I don't know about all this, man. <laughs> you a lot of commentators are saying, like, you didn't even want the ball in the second half. Yeah, he's like, hey, take the ball, get get away from it, because he Someone kept taking Hey, man, take this motherfucker, I don't want it. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know, everybody needs to like... He's a good player. A lot of people put him player. in the category as a great player. Yeah. He's but not there yet. He's a, he's a good player. And he's still a rookie. He's still a rookie, man. Yeah, so... You know what I'm saying? He's still a rookie. He's, there's still a learning curve. You know a a large learning curve. Mike, I, I mean, uh, Kobe Bryant, I remember his first year he was in the league. They brought him in the game during trash time. Yeah. Motherfucker came there throwing up air balls. <laughs> had it, all his hair shit had a little fucking peanut head. <laughs> Motherfucker's like 19, so there's a learning curve. But he's doing really well. You know what I'm saying? He's a definite step in, step in front of the game. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? Someone actually bought this dude's card on eBay. His rookie card. For $20,000. $20,000. I think that is a poor investment. What if he turns out just to be a mediocre player from here? Or just an average player? You didn't spend twenty thousand dollars on this guy's rookie card because right now there's a lot of hype over. Yeah. You no, know, if he later if he ends his career as a nine-time All-Star, wins a couple championships, couple MVP awards, yeah, then yeah, you probably gonna get more money for that damn rookie card. Look, it's worth twenty thousand dollars now. Sold on fucking eBay for twenty thousand. Imagine if this was to happen. Whoever had that call. Let's say the Knicks make the playoffs. Make it to the Eastern Conference Finals or some shit. Or they just knock Miami out of the playoffs. And Lynn was the MV fucking P. Average fucking 25 points, 10 assists. Uh, fucking uh, six steals a game. Some crazy fucking yeah. stats. That card's probably going to be worth 300 fucking million dollars. 300 million? It's worth 20,000 now. Imagine if he actually did something. Man. Somebody obviously got too much fucking money. Yeah. $20,000 for a damn rookie card. But I think Lynn's going to be back. I think the value on that card's gonna fall. But uh, let's just wait and see what happens to good old Jeremy Lin, man. I'm pulling for you, Jeremy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, be cool to see you do good, man. But hey, man, ESPN and all these other places, get off this motherfucker's nuts, man. Hey, he's got a lot of pressure on him. Get off his nuts! Punch twins, bitches.